everybody and welcome back to superman crypto your host superman in uh, the house and of course we're going to get into a zen update it's been a few days and uh we're going to wait to talk about some of the stuff so we had a lot of big protocols launch uh we had a bit of a price depreciation and of course zen on eth uh, but we're going to pull it up and have a look at what's coming up so stay tuned so uh, here we are with the zen price on ethereum and uh, we can see obviously from the bottom we had that big rise all the way up to the 19th of april and we've been in this downtrend ever since. Looks like well, we bounced out of uh, on the 1st of June, at the beginning of the month, and we got down to as low as uh, 501227, uh, so 501227 at the bottom here, and we have bounced off that, particularly yesterday, nice strong bounce yesterday, all the way up to 501747, currently at 1636 at the moment. Nice little move there. So if we take that move from the bottom, we're up about around about uh, 34%. So a nice little pick if you manage to pick the bottom off. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, RSI. Uh, we can see the RSI movements here was getting down pretty low, almost into oversold territory, uh, and managed to bounce off that a little bit. So that's pretty positive. Also, the stochastic RSI there also looking bullish as well. This is on the daily there, so looking good. Currently, over the 24 hours, we're up 20, uh, 12%. 155 buys versus 155 sells. Uh, with the buy volume at 394k over 282k uh, and of course we've got 1.2 million in the main pier uh, for zen wrapped eth there uh, which is pretty cool so obviously we we cut we passed the phoenix launch and the zen dodge launch and of course we're going to talk about what's coming up uh, particularly with the zen game which actually looks pretty exciting i kind of like the look of zen game where that might be out ahead and of course pool party as well so we're going to talk about that so look at uh, the zen dashboard we can see that on Ethereum there, we've got uh, 10.68 uh, trillion, uh, 10.68 trillion. And of course, remember when we had the big bullish number here, when we got to the top here, we were up, down around about eight and a half trillion or eight trillion around that sort of mark. Um, so we're definitely up for there. Uh, but we have had an increase in staking amount, which is up at about 2.22 trillion, uh, which is pretty cool too. So nice to see a bit of extra staking going on there as well. Uh, the fear gauge, I have seen the fear gauge here on the Zen Emotional Index, which is a pretty cool index here. Uh, and, of course, we have seen that in Extreme Fear. That has dropped down to the fear now at the moment. So it's kind of actually improved uh, from yesterday and the day before. So that's good to see. Uh, what else are we going to say there? We've got uh, the market cap, 17.4 million. Uh, obviously, we've got uh, the volume there, $4 million. Uh, that's kind of cool to see the volume up uh, and looking good. So that's the, the headline numbers. Uh, obviously, the only way to get li uh, liquid supply down and increase the propensity for a price rise is to increase the staking uh, or increase the burning. So let's go have a look at the burning. We can see the staking is not doing too badly. Let's have a look at the burning at the moment. Uh, we can see that on the burning chart we've had uh, the last couple of days, you know, we've been around about, uh, what, uh, let's have a look since the beginning of the month, 1st of June. Uh, we were around about 38.5 billion burned, uh, with that dominated by uh, Phoenix, actually, to 10 billion. That's pretty good, actually, for Phoenix. Uh, that's a really big lift for Phoenix there. 27.9 billion for DBZ. Uh, then we had uh, on the second there, we had 36 billion that so dropped a couple of billion there. Uh, but Phoenix at five and a half and DBZ at 30. Uh, look, look, not too bad. And then we had uh, uh, Burns there. We had DBZ 23.7 and Phoenix at 6.6. So a nice little uplift in Phoenix actually, uh, which is exciting to see. And then of course, uh, so far today, we're currently running at 20 billion. Uh, yesterday we had 30 billion there so we have dropped off the last couple of days since the beginning of june uh, but still looking better with those burns like i said to you, you know we need like, like 75 billion or more uh burns so it'd be great to get back to that remember this big candle here this was the big first big day of uh, zen dodge burn and uh, that was at one uh, billion but you can see that has really dropped off on zen dodge we had uh let's see what we got yesterday yesterday for zen dodge yeah 43 million burned uh, and it looks like we've been doing oh we had 124 million on the second and 250 million on, uh, uh, actually 72 million on Zen Dodge on the first. So uh, definitely still burning, but not in the billions like we're seeing on Phoenix and DBZ. And of course, DBZ dominating at the moment. So kind of cool. We can see the trend. That's just in the last uh, 30 days. We can see the uh, the total burns are going up and to the right. So you can sort of see the uptrend of the total burns, which is pretty cool. Let's uh, jump down to uh, the mining there. We see that we're on 19 Gwei at the moment. So the Gwei has really come back. I think Pulse Chain's definitely played a role in that. And of course, the memes, uh, meme coins are subsiding as well, like Pepe. Uh, but definitely Pulse Chain having a big play. Uh, Zen Network beats there, 129 people minting at the moment at 19 Gwei. So nice to see uh, that happening as well. Obviously, with the lower price, you're going to get more burning generally. Uh, that's what you reasonably expect. And of course, a lot more minting 
Uh, although, you know, the burnings, you know, it's modest at the moment still, even with the lower prices. Let's have a look at uh, the futures, what's happening here at the moment with the future supply. One cool thing I want to point out was liquidity. 52.89% is uh, actually liquid supply. So heading towards 50%, which is pretty cool, even though we've got more Zen out in the market. Uh, that's kind of cool, 52.89. I like that. Uh, and let's go down to future mints. Uh, obviously, we've had a big rescaling here over the last th next 30 days. Uh, we've got these candles coming out. We just had a big candle come out. I think it was 168 billion or something. Uh, so the future candles are a lot lower. Uh, you know, these weekend candles get as high as 126 billion here uh, on the 11th of June, uh, 107. But we just had 160. I think it was 168 just come out. So that will come out over the next 24 hours. People playing. So, uh, you know, we've got weekdays, kind of not too bad. The lowest day ahead of us is this one here on the 21st of June. About 37 billion in. So you've got to see what I mean by getting around about 75 billion uh, a day to burn through a lot of these candles because uh, they're typically like 68 or so. Uh, so you really want to build uh, burn up a lot of these candles through uh, with a, a kind of a 75k burn, which is sort of in the middle here. Uh, but, you know, anything higher than that's a bonus, right? So uh, at the moment, of course, the maximum supply uh, with all the burning has been restated here. It's got jumped to about 100 trillion or something. It's now down at 323. Uh, so it's kind of cool to see that as well uh, with mine at 109. So not too bad at all. 34% of the expected uh, has been mined so far, which is kind of cool. All right. Uh, that is kind of the overlay. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Jack Levin's updates. Uh, he's been tweeting and stuff like that. So the 4th of June here, every Zen Minter provides value to the community. First principles. Uh, I'm working. I uh, use got cool formulas there on the 4th. Uh, moon party. We've got Zen artist here. So I was talking about the moon party. That's going to be pretty cool. The little picture of the Zen moon party there. Which is kind of crazy. I'm looking forward to the moon party. I actually really like the idea. Uh, and it certainly fits in with the burning culture of Zen, uh, which is kind of cool. I'm kind of looking back a bit further here. Um, Zenians are force. Um, so kind of cool. Obviously facing a lot of FUD with the price pullback. Um, so uh, the, it's probably good for the team to keep them focused on the right direction as well. Had some pretty cool number of users. Look at these users. Uh, which is pretty neat. Includes testnet users, so we're up at the active users, 1.1 million. That's pretty awesome. Zen topping the charts here for every major EVM chain, Ethereum, Polygon, BSC, Phantom, so uh, on the unique sender, so that's pretty cool. See that as well. Uh, and I think that's kind of some of the highlights there as well. So uh, amazing couple last couple of weeks of coordinated creative effort among Zen universe, universe teams. Our community has made a huge impact on all the chains in our Bitcoin chain. Really humble to be part of it. Uh, so it's kind of come to the cool, cool, cool stuff that they've been doing uh, there at the moment. All right. So uh, that leads us in closer to the future uh, where we are at the moment. And of course, let's see where we're up here. Um, Bitcoin miners are in starving mode. Uh, what else we got here? Not only crypto is like being short on crypto. So a few little uh, tidbits there. Now on the eight hours ago, uh, Jack Levin said this Friday, we will be announcing two things. Uh, economic impact of Zen from... Uh, on, on Zen from X1, that's going to be profound. I think that's fundamental to Zen now, uh, the economic impact of on Zen from X1, uh, the main chain. And, of course, that's going to be fundamental to Zen. So that, you don't want to miss that, and I'll try and cover that as well. Secondly, a technical aspect of something that none has, and, of course, none, none thought as part of continuous development of the ecosystem. So looking forward to see uh, what that new innovation is. That would be very exciting. So uh, stay tuned. That is pretty critical. Uh, to the future of Zen, I believe, uh, with the X1 there. Looking forward to it. Now, looking at uh, the DBZN here in more detail on uh, ZenPub uh, dashboards, let's have a look at the DBZN zone. We can see at the moment uh, 6.4 billion has been burned in the current DBZN cycle. As as you guys know, it's sort of number one. I think it's been about 57% of the burn or so. And, of course, uh, this is currently on day 75. Can you believe it? Uh, 75. So it's about two and a half months into the protocol. Uh, 10 hours left to go. They've got 6.4 billion burned and about 19 minters in there at the moment. But looking at the burn cycles, you can see uh, we sort of tapered off here around the 23, uh, 20 billion yesterday. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I would like to see that, man. It would be so good to see another hill of this. And typically you do do see these double hills. So you might have a little bit of a, a low back and then get another surge. Definitely possible there with that. So look at the leaderboard today. Uh, 5.1 billion is the top person there. Uh, looks like they've got uh, 7,200, 8,300 there. So what's that? Uh, 15,500. Uh, and it looks their current reward is 58,000. So you know people are going to come in on top of that. 
Um, all right, so that's pretty much it. Looking at the price of TVZ, uh, nine dollars getting me nine dollars. Even two days ago, seemed to have wicked down uh, to a dollar sixty-two. So maybe some big whale selling down there. It seems pretty irrational. Um, but hey, look, it's crypto. That's pretty much it. It's up twenty-five percent on the twenty-four hours, which is cool. Two hundred fifty buys over five fifty-nine sells. One hundred seventy-six k. So looking not too bad there. Let's jump over to obviously some of the cool things there for Phoenix, uh, and of course Phoenix there being a big burner as we saw. At the top here, DB, uh, Phoenix there has been a top burner. And, of course, uh, you can see it's number two in terms of burning. And, of course, they've got all the ETH flush pool parties coming up. Uh, here are some of the dates, the 2nd of September, 2nd of December, 2nd of March, 1st of June, 31st of Ju August 24. And you can see all the what dates all the way through uh, 2026, 2027, 2028. Some pretty passionate uh, people looking forward to those flushing parties there on uh, the Phoenix Protocol. Uh, which is pretty cool. So it looks like we've got DBZ and Phoenix uh, leading the burners there at the moment. But we do have something pretty cool coming up uh, besides these pool parties uh, is uh, the Zen game, which I kind of like, something like so. And normally I, I'm you know, a bit more cautious on on uh, these sort of things, but this one here kind of looks quite kind of interesting. Obviously not financial advice, but it does, uh, if they get the, the gamification right, it could be very, very exciting. And of course, here is a bit of a rundown. So uh, Zen game is an open source autonomous financial experiment. And I've got, I've got to remember that. This is kind of experimental, and the experiment belongs to the community, and thus the creators uh, must play by the same rules as everybody else. There are no developer fees, uh, no admin keys, and no pre-mine allocations. Of course, we all like that. First principles uh, are very, very important. Uh, the experiment is presented as a jackpot game uh, in which the last player to purchase a uh, key before the timer runs out wins the grand prize. So that's pretty, pretty uh, good psychology, uh, getting people bidding into that. There are several ways to be rewarded and all methods contribute to the burning of Zen prior to the game as a fair launch event during which players can purchase keys for ETH at an equal price. Once the game begins, the price of keys will increase exponentially. Exponentially, really? Uh, with every purchase, the ETH raised during the event will fund the game initial jackpot. And then, of course, the game begins with a jackpot of ETH and 12 hours on the clock. Uh, when the clock reaches zero, the jackpot unlocks and the last player who purchased a key takes the grand prize there's a catch though each time a key is purchased 30 seconds are added to the clock whoa so extension extension now uh, pretty cool uh nice there what else we got there the price of keys increases uh by 0.099 percent with each key purchased the sales revenue is distributed four ways and it's very important there key holders 50 percent uh jackpot 30 percent a burn fund 15 percent and apex fund five percent now this apex fund that's pretty interesting, people to get Apex NFTs getting some yield that they did not expect to get. Uh, that's probably pretty good given how the fact that the price of Zen's down so far and a lot of these Zen uh, NFTs were bought at pretty high prices. When the price of a key reaches 0 0.001 of the jackpot value, the price of a key asset resets to 0 it's a five zeros there, uh, 1%. So nice, you can see that on the buy keys there. The burn fund collects ETH for the purpose of buying Zen on the open market as well and burning it. I do like that. Uh, of course, you got the burn fund there, 15%. So that's bullish too. It's a win-win for everybody. Uh, the APEC fund is distributed to all users uh, who have APEX NFTs registered with the Zen Game contract. Oh, that's pretty cool. So the APEX fund is distributed to all users who have APEX NFTs registered with the Zen Game contract. And it's nice. Distribution is proportional to the number of NFTs held in their uh, respective APEC ranks are tying in those communities uh, together, which is pretty cool. You can see some of the cool... Uh, cool stuff here, uh, X-Uni, Legendary, Epic, etc., Exotic, and Rare. Now, obviously, this is going to mean uh, more, potentially more people mint out these NFTs as well, and they all get uh, consumed, those 10,000 of them. So uh, that would be pretty cool. Should the game timer ever reach zero, the game will end. The jackpot will be distributed in three ways. Grand prize, 70%. Key holders, 20%. Apex fund, 10%. No players will walk away empty-handed. And then finally, the game has been fine-tuned using data simulations to ensure... That it remains lucrative, enticing to play at any stage of the game without over diluting, uh, diluting early players. Zen game is coming soon, and it may or may not burn the entire liquid Zen supply. <laughs> it could get pretty crazy. Uh, this gamification looks pretty good. There is the full white paper, uh, nice there as well. So, uh, what I'd like to say about that, that's pretty interesting. I think I like this. Uh, this could be has fit in very well with the spirit of Zen and the Zen burn. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit the bell. I'll leave the links. Uh, and, of course, in the video description to all these projects. Uh, and I will catch you next time. Leave your comments. I'd love to hear your comments on uh, the Zen game and, of course, the pool parties as well. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, take care, everybody. Bye for now.